How are you, Adam? Hi, Luke. Is it that you're going to the dentist today? Yeah. Yeah, I got the note. Yes, we like to start off every day with our morning meeting. It's just our routine from when they come in. So they usually make their lunch choice, they put their things away, they answer the question of the day. Oh yeah, the question of the day. You say yes or no, if you had it, did it, or ate it. Sometimes I'll ask a question um, that has to do with a word family or a math problem. The question of the day, I did start very early on in kindergarten, and you should see how their names progress. At the beginning, they're very big, and they're all capital, and it takes a long time. And then now they get to the point where they come, they, they write their name, they feel proud, they go back, and they're very excited to count and see if there's more yes or more no. And then when we go over it, we always talk about which side was, had more, which one was greater. We include the greater and less than symbols. So we're including a lot of skills. Um, and getting them excited and, and ready for their day. Thursday, we will read about a silly penguin. In the morning message, we like to incorporate what's going on that day to get them just mentally prepared for the day ahead and excited, but we also have them come up and circle sight words that they see, maybe even if there's a question mark or punctuation. Sometimes I'll make mistakes in the sentence and then they have to come up and know that, oh, this word needs to be capital because it's the first word in a sentence. I think that the, the actual morning meeting and the sharing time is very important. They all like to be heard. They all like to, to share what's going on with them. So I think that they just feel that classroom community. They, they really feel like they belong and that they're really well liked and that they're part of our classroom family. It helps them get set up for the day. It helps them feel confident. It helps them feel independent. And it just it lets them know that they're loved. Well, what we do basically is we get ready for the day. So Miss Warnick asks us so how good we're feeling, and that that refreshes. That's a start to our day. That she wants to know how we are feeling and if we're feeling great or sad or whatever we're feeling. I think she would want to know that just to see if we have we're ready for the day. We're ready to do some. We're ready. We're just ready. I, we usually do like a greeting and then we do a check-in and the kids run the greeting and the check-in. Well, the best thing I like about it is that we get to share things about our week on the weekend because then it, other people can hear about how it's been. It's kind of nice. After that, we'll do a breath to calm everybody down for the day and get started. I'm, it makes me think about good things that happened to me. I think it just changes their mood, you know, for the day. They come in, they're tired, maybe some of them are hungry, maybe some of them had, an, had a bad morning, um, or even maybe they had a great morning, but it's their way of connecting with me. Like, Mrs. Hornet cares about me, like I do. Um, I just want them to feel when they walk in the store that they have somebody that's going to care about them as much as, you know, I would want someone to care for my own kids when they're away from me, you know, for six and a half hours a day. It's more important than ever because it gets, it like connects you with every single student every single day. For Dragon is a book that highlights like the types of things that they use during Chinese New Year, but this gives a little bit more detail. So we do morning meeting four out of the five days a week when we could squeeze it in. It's usually about 10 to 20 minutes. And it's not the same structure every day. Um, our one sentence summary for our 19 year old that flew around the world by herself, what would you say? If they can get a story it's about really complex ideas and they could say, oh, here's the overarching theme, that's really great information for me because I know they, they're using context clues, they're passing up vocabulary that they don't know, using vocabulary that they do to make sense of something. 
just observing even the tiniest things like who sits next to who every single day, what friendships are being built in my classroom, who's kind of holding back, who's willing to participate, who's not. Um, and it's a really good way to just kind of like get a sense of my class community and it's just very nice to have them build that social connection and then it doesn't create so many social issues later when it's like okay find a partner or create a group of three um yeah they just really like enjoy being together which makes school fun